7.30 in the morning time. Time now for the Weather Magician with Peter J. Wiggins, the Border Report. Monday, May 6, 2013. A good morning to you all on this beautiful Monday morning. Current conditions at 7.30 a.m. on this Monday morning, May the 6th, 2013. The temperature is 44 degrees with fog, misty conditions and humidity of 89%. Wind speed is calm. Barometer 3.28 inches, 2.41 degrees and a visibility of 3 miles. Okay, let's take a look at the radar scope around New England. And all is... It's very little dancing. Clear on the radar scope around New England. Yeah, we'll look for that. And we've been following what is gonna be our raid maker on Wednesday and this is gonna be a couple of showers from northwestern Georgia stretching in northeastern Alabama stretching into central Tennessee around the Nashville area. And a little swamp of showers from central Arkansas, and a couple of lighter showers from Eastern Illinois, switching into Indiana through seven. Ohio between Dayton and Cincinnati, and switching into Columbus, switching into Parkersburg, into West Virginia. And a couple of showers from southeastern Kentucky, switching into southwestern Virginia, and extreme northwestern North Carolina, switching into central North Carolina, switching in and in a Southeastern Northeastern, Southeastern North Carolina, Northeastern South Carolina line, and a straight it off to the North Carolina coast there. All right. Our seven day forecast goes like this. Oh. Okay, special weather statement. Fog and some dense fog across eastern Massachusetts early this morning. Low clouds have moved in across eastern Massachusetts up the ocean early this morning along with areas of fog. There will be localized visibility below one quarter of a mile front around 7 a.m. That will be slowly improved by around 8 a.m. Motors should be prepared for quickly changing visibilities and take extra time during this morning's commute. Okay, the hazardous weather outlook. Day 1 today to that. Elevated fire weather conditions will exist during the day today across the interior. And days 2 for 7, Tuesday for Sunday, elevated fire weather conditions will exist around the interior. Tuesday is a very dry condition too, but I believe that wave makers are going to help the fire weather conditions. Conditions a little bit. Casey Anthony accused of murder for two years. All right, a 7-day forecast goes like this. For today, patchy fog before 9 a.m. Otherwise, mostly 7 with high 68 degrees. Calm wind to become a stuff 5 to 7 miles per hour in the afternoon. For tonight, patchy fog after 1 a.m. Otherwise, mostly calm with a low at 45 degrees. Stuff wind about 5 to 7 miles per hour become calm in the evening. For Tuesday, patchy fog before 9 a.m. Otherwise, mostly 7 with high 76 degrees. Calm wind to become stuff about 5 to 7 miles per hour in the afternoon. For Tuesday, I punch a ball and punch a cloth with a low on 48 degrees, south wind about 3 to 7 miles per hour. For Wednesday, I chance to shower mainly after 2 p.m., punch a ball before 9 in the morning, and uh, more as mostly cut with a high near 69 degrees, south wind about 5 to 11 miles per hour to the southeast, chance of perspiration 30%, no perspiration amounts of less than 10 minutes possible. Wednesday, Night, I chance to charge the thunderstorms. Petri fog after 2 a.m. Otherwise, cloudy with a low around 50 degrees. Chance of preservation is 50%. New rainfall amounts between the 10th and quarter of an inch. Except higher amounts possible to thunderstorms. Thursday, showers likely made before noon. Petri fog before 9 a.m. Otherwise, cloudy with a high near 6 degrees. Chance of preservation 60%. For Thursday night, a chance of showers, punchy fog after 4 a.m. Otherwise, cloudy with a low on 51 degrees, chance of perspiration 40%. Friday, a chance of showers, punchy fog after or before 8 a.m. Otherwise, mostly covered with a high near 70 degrees, chance of perspiration 30%. Friday night, mostly covered with a low on 50 degrees. Saturday, a chance of showers, cloudy with a high near 64 degrees, chance of perspiration 40%. Saturday night, a chance of showers, cloudy with a low on 51 degrees, chance of perspiration 40%. Sunday, a chance of showers, cloudy with a high near 65 degrees. Chance of perspiration 40%. Peter is wearing a phrase today. A foggy start leads to same conditions on a Monday morning. 734. It's time now for our little travel report on this. Monday morning. Back to work, back to school, and up. Someone who was wrongfully accused. Central Artery, Tipple Deal, Tunnels Mall, in both directions from the store drive all the way out to the Massachusetts Turnpike. Uh, Southeast Expressway, a little congestion from the Braintree Split on the northbound side, 
all the way out to the gas tanks on the north bad side of the suffix express way, but alright, you're good to go from the gas tanks on the north bad side all the way out to the best park. 93 South was blown by the best park all the way out to the Braintree split. And that was that side that she showed when the jury was not there. And there was a mass pack congestion from one train and Weston all the way out to Route 16 in Newton Air, but our advice, you're good to go from the best pack from Newton all the way out to Boston and busted all the way out to the Logan Airport there. To discuss a possible plea to Mass to the turnpike congestion from near 4885 and Westboro all the way out to Route 30 in Natick on the eastbound side to Trust of Sacks from Westbound. You're good to go from Weston all the way out to Sturbridge. Route 1 south is congestion from Route 16 River all the way out to the Tobin Bridge on the southbound side. No bad side, you're good to go. Uh, from Route 93 Boston to 95 128 in. Did you think there was sufficient evidence Peabody, yeah. to convict her in this case? Route 1 congestion on Main Street and Sulgas all the way at the Essex Street near Square One Mall here. Yes, there was some. 1A South congestion from Route 16 in River all the way out to. What did you think? Near Boardman Street in. Envelope and read that verdict. East Boston, so try to stop next time here. Ted Wolves tells Bullock 5. Callahan and Summoner tells Bullock 5. 1A is Bullock 5 from Boston all the way up to Logan Airport. When you say that, is it because I want 93 South. Oh, it's back to back. Back to up from 128 in Reading all the way out to Assembly Square in Somerville on the southbound side of 93. So try to let us some extra time here within that area. And Route 1 South congested as we approach 93 near the Zaken Bridge in Charlestown here. 98 North is bought fine from Boston to Reddy, dear. What did you think of the lawyer in this case? 120 is modified for Peabody the Cluster here. 128 South is congestion from Main Street, where exit 41 in Wakefield. All, all, all the way out to Wind Street in Burlington. And 95 South is 128 South congestion from Route 3 in Burlington on the southbound side. All the way out to Route 2 in Lexington. Well, and one trade ball off on both sides from Lexington to Westwood and one trade north is congestion from 95 and Norwood all the way out to Route 181 in Dedham, so try to let us observe the time here. She can't really go anywhere. She apparently can't make a living. In your mind, has justice been served to her? Well. Route 1 trade is congestion from 37 Bray Street to the Bray Street split there. Justice will finally be served one day by the judge of judges. 24, on rep to 120 from 24 and the northbound side, congested here. Trial of service exam, okay? 95, north is congested from exit 11A in Nippon Street and Norwood all the way up to 128 in Westwood here. But otherwise, that is good, good to go on the southbound side. And a little bit of north of the side from Norwood all the way up to the Rhode Island border here. 24 north, a little congestion out there with Route 139 in Stilton Randolph, section of Route 24 northbound. So trust up to extra time. But otherwise, we're good to go from Stilton all the way up to the Rhode Island border. Route 3 north is congestion from Derby Street to take him all the way up to the Great tree split, so try to stop the extra time, but otherwise, you're good to go from Brain Tree to Sagamore. 44 is Bluff High from Middleburg to Plymouth. 495 South. 495 both sides, Bluff High from Maple Lab, 495 South, congestion from Tway to Larch, so the south by side, all the way out past Route 93 and end of the of the extra time, otherwise. Degrees in Portland. That's what's going on around the country. Here's what's happening in Europe. 93 little congestion approach one way to Redden to the south outside, but 93 95 off from one train to the uh, New Hampshire border. Route 3 south is congested as approach to the intersection with Route 128 in Burlington there. And 3 south is congested from 495 in Chelsea all the way out to Chelsea Road in North Bill Record. But otherwise, 3 is good to go from 128 to the Rhode Island border. 128 to the New Hampshire border. 230 below 5 from Stuart Delars. 
485, more 5 from low all the way out to Westbury, 485. More 5 from Westbury to Bensfield at 485. More 5 from Bensfield to... Wareham, 1 for his ball of fire from Tonton to the Bedford. 1 day 5 ball of fire from Providence to Wareham. Okay, right out to have a picture. 1 for 6 Cephas ball of fire from the Rhode Island Massachusetts border to 95 in Providence. 2 day 5 ball of fire from Alabama to War. 95 Cephas ball of fire from Protected to Westerly. Route 6 ball of fire from Johnson to Providence. 6 10 connected with ball of fire from Grants to Providence. 37 ball of fire from West Walk to Walk. TF Green Airport connectors ball fire on both sides. Route 4 is ball fire from East Greenwich to North Kingside. 130 is ball fire from North Kingside to Newport. 130 is ball fire from Newport to Portsmouth. 195 is ball fire from Providence all the way out to Wareham. 25 is ball fire from Wareham to Buzz Bay. Route 6 is ball fire from Sagamore to Orleans. And 20 is ball fire from Board to Falmouth. That's going to be it for Wherever Try from Benjamin Shard this May 6, 2013 on a Monday. I'm Pierce. Have a good day with a good positive attitude. Bye bye for now. We're.